Alright, what's going on YouTube? So, we're just checking out some snakes here. And uh, my good friend Daniel come up to uh, check us out today with his beautiful little son over here. And uh, we're just going to hang out for a little bit, talk about snakes. We're going to bring up topic of conversation for today is going to be uh, what happens after you hatch your babies and they've had their first shed? What do you do next? So that's what we're going to talk about. But and uh, before we get out of that, speak up a little bit about yourself. I'm Daniel, Reptilian Complex. Uh, this man started me off, sold me my first snake, second snake, tenth snake, twelfth, I don't know. He sold me a lot, and this is who I go to. He's the man. And uh, we're here, I'm showing off his, his snake library here, his uh, art gallery to my kids, and they're gorgeous. Y'all should come check them out. Southern word of the day. Want to see. Want to see what we're about to do? had hatched what I would do is take our hatchling tub which we use this size tub here it doesn't really matter and there's also a million different ways to do this but this is just the way we do it here uh, I take a piece of paper towel wet paper doesn't really matter put a piece of paper in the tub and just soak it down with just plain water nothing else <clears throat> then I would rem remove the baby snakes from this box and trans, uh, transport Transformers. them. Trans yeah, trans Transformers. Yeah, Transformers. Who was watching that earlier? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> transport them to uh, this particular tub. Uh, I do have some that hatched the other day, so I'm going to pretend that I'm removing them from this box to this. So basically what we do here is let the baby shed out in these tubs. So we just so happen that we have some that are shed last night and we're going to separate those out and change them into their individual tubs. Um, a lot of people leave the animals in the incubator in the tub until they shed. That's perfectly fine too. We use an ambient temperature here so it's not a whole lot of difference in temperature from what our room is versus what the incubator is so we just choose to remove them from the incubator because honestly our incubator is kind of full at the moment and I need the space anyway and then they'll shed out here so these guys actually shed out last night and obviously we can tell because there are sheds in here each one of these have shed you'll notice sometimes in the egg boxes that these sheds are a little yellow sometimes the paper will actually turn a little yellow and and honestly that's just uh the eggs kind of use the bathroom in this and some of the fluid from removing or from them removing the sheds is actually turns everything a little yellow so once they shed out you want to try to get these guys out as soon as possible
So we just get some cocoa, wet it down a little bit. New water bowl. Put a baby in here. Label the front of the tub. And into the rack it goes. Something else that I do want to mention is if you notice that this animal has not made its first shed yet because of the shininess, the glossy coat that the animal has. This animal has not shed yet. So a lot of people say, well, how do you tell? Well, other than seeing the sheds actually in the tub, for comparison purposes, this animal has shed, this animal has not shed. This animal is shiny, this animal is not shiny. So since we're talking about babies, I'll just show off a couple of these hatchlings. These are the first hurricanes that we've hatched here at Hardwired Exotics. This particular one here is a super vanilla, lesser yellow belly hurricane. Absolutely outstanding animal. This is probably actually my favorite. This is a vanilla hurricane yellow belly. Once again, look at that yellow belly influence. So a lot of people ask, what does the hurricane actually do to the animal? Well, here's a great example. This is also a super vanilla lesser yellow belly without the hurricane. And look at the difference that the hurricane brought. The pattern is just absolutely insane. Thanks for watching our daddy's channel. Make sure you subscribe.